Yeah. Yeah, I miss you too, darling. Bye. That was Vicky on the phone. Oh, apparently she borrowed a mixing bowl from Paulie. Who did? Vicky. When? When she went through that cooking phase. She wants us to take it round. It's in the kitchen cupboard. Well, you want me to do it? Thanks, Dennis. Oh. Thanks, didn't think I was going to see that again. So, now Vicky's gone, it's just you and Sharon. Got yourself a nice little billet there. He used to do that. What? Shrug his shoulders and smile. Who did? The father. What was he like, Pauline? Dennis. <laughs> the rotten scoundrel. But he could charm the knickers off a nun. Well, you fancied him? No, I did not. Don't you be so cheeky. When I was in a kid's home in Muswell Hill, I used to make up stories about him. My dad. I used to say he was in the SAS. <laughs> and all the time he was just a backstreet publican in Walford. Dennis. I might not have liked him, but there was never anything backstreet about Dennis Watts. Yeah. Vicky phoned and told me about the bowl. I'll bring it round later. Oh, you're too late. Dennis brought it round earlier. Hmm, that's a turn up for the book. Yeah. A cup of tea, please. So, how are the two of you getting on in that flat? It's quiet. Yeah, I bet. Anyway, we had quite a chat about your father, me and Dennis. Really? Hmm. Wanted to know what he was like. He's never shown any interest before. He was shown plenty of interest earlier on. Right. What you got there? Just some old pictures. Well, I must have been about 16 here. We'd just come back from Brighton. Just me and him. Had a great day. <laughs> oh, I took this one of him with a camera he gave me for my eighth birth. Just some toast. No thanks. I'm off to the club. I'll be along later. Right. I knew him! Now listen to me. I've got something to tell you. Listen to me! Well, that's got to make a difference. It don't. Sharon, there is some... Sharon! It doesn't matter. So? They're not here, all right? Well? Well... Oh, this is harder than I thought. I've been thinking a lot recently. About Dan. Right. Is this because of Dalton? What do you mean? What we saw in the news. The way it's reported, gangland slain, bringing it all back. Maybe, but... There's things I want to know. 16th birthday. Don't look at the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard not to. <laughs> you do this a lot? I did at first, but... I'm sorry, this must be difficult for you. Yes and no. It's good to talk about him. But he's gone. So is Mum. And not all the memories are good. No one's memories are all good. You know, he served it with divorce papers Christmas Day. Can you believe that? Must have had an evil streak. Except where I was concerned. With me, he was the kindest, most loving person you could ever meet. And that's not just nostalgia speaking? No, no, it's true. He used to call me his princess. Look, whatever you hear about him round here, and a lot of it won't be good, just
just remember there's more to a person than the things they've done. It's me. Yeah, I've been trying you all day. Stokes, you there? Get him to call me back as soon as. Yeah. Same again, Trace. <laughs> hey! Thanks for getting back to me, mate. Listen, any idea when we can meet up? Oh, great. Oh, and don't forget to bring your little black book. Sorry, pal. Place is closed. Stokesy. How are you? All right. Sit down. All right. Come on, me. As promised. This is the address? Yeah. I've done my bit. It's down to you now. Yeah. It is. I've got a tip for you, though. Oh, yeah? Try the pawn shop. Yellow? Stokesy! Yeah, hang on a minute, mate. Private call? No, it checks out. Yeah, I'll be on my way. You know, I've lived in the square for the best part of my life, and what do you do, eh? You've not been here five minutes when you ride Russia over everything. Brawling, gambling, sleeping around like some alley cat. Well, I'm a chip off the old block then, ain't I? Don't you dare compare yourself to him. He may have had his failings, but my daddy had class. And if you beat up a thousand Phil Mitchells, there is no way you're anywhere near his league. Oh, no? Then tell me this, Sharon. If your dad was such a hero, if he loved you so much, then how come you don't know? Know what? That Dennis Watts is still alive. Sharon, about what I've I said. I've got to get on. We should talk. There's nothing to talk about. About Den. I shouldn't have come out with it like that. My timing was rubbish. Why are you doing this? What do you mean? Angry with me, is that it? Angry? Want to hurt me? Well, you think I made this up? No, I think you're sick. Well, you really think I made this up? I will up? not listen to this. Dennis alive. Oh, when you believe that. I know he is. So where's he been all this time, Dennis? Look, Sharon... Look, do you... me a favour and leave me out of this. Look, Sharon... Me aspirin. I've got a cold coming on. Uh, there's some paracetamol in the cupboard there. Leave you out of what? Uh, Dennis was trying to arrange a night at West. I can't see it. Uh, they're probably in the bathroom, darling. I don't know what your game is, Dennis. But I don't want you talking about Dad anymore. Not to me and definitely not to Vicky. But I'm only too... I don't want her upset. Why won't you just... That's li enough. <sighs> Dennis. Dennis. Mm. I made you some lunch. It was a shock. I know. I'm sorry. But I think I might have overreacted a bit. Have you changed your tune? Well, I've done a bit of thinking. Dennis, I shouldn't have snapped at you. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Right. Well, I better go. I'm expecting a delivery. You'll be right here. You're going? Well, I'll be at the club if you need anything. Don't you want to talk about this? I've said all I wanted to say. So you're starting to accept it then? What? The den's alive. No, Dennis. But you just said to me. I accept that when you heard the rumor. It's more than a rumor, Sharon. Dennis, you've never had a dad. You want him to be alive. I can understand that. No, that isn't what it is. I've been there myself. When I found Dad's ring, I kept telling myself that it meant he wasn't dead. But Sharon. I really believed that he was alive somewhere, and sooner or later he was going to walk back into my Why life. Why won't you listen to it me? It took a long time for me to accept that he wasn't going to come back. That he was dead. He's not. It's true! You want it to be true. Oh, I 
feel better if that's sleep. What happened? I uh, fell over. And smashed the plate against the wall. Okay, I threw it. Why? I was angry with Sharon. Wow. About? It wasn't an argument. Oh, that's why your lunch hit the wall. I was trying to get her to listen to me. She wouldn't. She left. Oh, I get it. So she doesn't know about that? Uh-uh. Well, what were you trying to say to her? It doesn't matter. Tell me. Come on, I'll listen to you, I promise. I'm all ears. I won't walk out on you. I can't. It's between Sharon and me. Come on, you shouldn't keep secrets from me. No. Why not? Because she killed me. Oh, terrific. I'm sorry, Vicky. But look, I will tell you. The minute I can get her to listen to me, will you just give me a break? I can't hack it if you freeze me out as well. Please. My mum says Sharon could be an obstinate cow. She's got a point. But if you choose your moment, and if you get in the right mood, you can usually persuade her of anything. Hi, Sharon. Yeah, I was wondering, you got any plans for eating this evening? I can't think of anybody. Sharon. You know what you were saying earlier about me wanting Dan to be alive? It ain't true. I don't care whether he's alive or dead. No, I mean, really, I don't care. But I have heard... Rumours, Dennis. There's a word for what you're feeling. It's called being in denial. <laughs> what? You want to have a father so you won't accept he's dead. You know, you hear some rumour, you want it to be true. Dennis, I've been there myself. But I grew through it, and so will you. In denial? Growing through it? Spare me the jargon. Can't we just drop this place? What, is that what you want? Yes. You don't want to talk about it? That's right. You don't want to know? No! Listen to yourself, will you? It's not me who's in denial, it's you. <coughs> I'm sorry, Sharon. I didn't mean to insult you. You shouldn't listen to stupid talk. I didn't believe it myself at first. Dennis, please. Do you have any idea what you're doing to me? Sharon. Look, to you and to Vicky come to that. You know, Dem Watts was just a name. You know, he wasn't real. He wasn't flesh and blood. But Dennis, he was real to me. I know this. He was my dad. I don't want to hurt you. Then why don't but you I just. I have been shut asking up. around. I've been following shut up on up, some Dennis. contacts. He's Dennis, been living shut abroad. Up. Just shut up, Dennis! I love my dad. I know. He was the centre of my world. Yeah. When it first happened, I so didn't want it to be true. Every day I'd, I'd walk down the street and I'd see him. I mean, more than once I went up to complete strangers and I so wanted him not to be dead. It took ages for me to really believe it, that he'd gone. I was never going to see him again. But when I finally accepted it, I went for a walk by the canal. It was drizzling, I remember that. Real Walford weather. And cold. I was wearing this, this heavy winter coat and I looked into the water and I thought, if I jump in there right now wearing this coat, then I'd be dead myself in five minutes. And I nearly did it, Dennis. I nearly jumped in. But I didn't. And don't laugh at me, but... I heard my dad and... Well, his spirit and... He was saying to me, just let go of me, princess. Just turn around, walk away and get on with the rest of your life. And that's what I did. Dennis, please don't mess with my head anymore. 
No more talk of Dad being alive. Dad. I thought you were out with Martin. Yeah, I changed my mind. What do you mean? Dad's still alive. He isn't. Is he, Dennis? Well? Dennis? Yeah. He is. Dennis. <coughs> Morning. What do you fancy for breakfast? How about the truth? Come on, Vicky, there's no need for this. Look, darling, I want it to be true as much as you do. But I promise you, there is no way. Our dad died a long time ago. Well, this must have come from somewhere. People don't just come back from the dead. Yeah, well, maybe he wasn't really dead in the first place. No, I was there the day they buried him. I just want to know what you heard. Why are you shutting me out like this? Have you any idea how hard it was for me growing up with this, this long-lost father figure that no one was even allowed to mention? Vicky, I will talk to you about the past any time. Just not this. I'm sorry, sweetheart. The subject's closed. Well, thank you for your support. Oh, don't look at me. You're the one that started this. Excuse me. What you want? Painkillers. Here. You can tidy up all you want. It ain't gonna go away. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. It's a bit late for that, don't you think? This genie is well and truly out the bottle. What, you think Vicky's just gonna snap her fingers and forget she ever heard anything? What are you suggesting, Dennis? Well, if you want to blank it out, that's fine. But Vicky wants to know. That's her right. Is she part of this family or not? Vicky. Do you want to hear this or not? This address Stokesy gave you, did you actually go there? Yeah. And? And uh, nothing. I couldn't find him. So you just left it at that? Well, come on, where was this place? I mean, we can go back. We can't. It's not that simple. Why not? Vicky, Sharon really isn't up for this. Look, let's just leave her out of it, okay? She doesn't have to know, does she? Vicky, we ain't going behind Sharon's back, not on something as big as this. What kind of a hold does she have over you? Why do you think she really doesn't want to know, eh? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she's just scared of getting our hopes up in case it, it turns out to be some kind of wild goose chase. It's a lot more than that. Think about it. If Den ain't dead, then he's just been missing all these years. And he ain't even bothered to get in contact with her. Now, what kind of a message is that sending out? If he is out there, then he don't give a stuff about Sharon. Or anyone else he left behind. Well, thank you for breaking it to me so gently. Oh, Vicky! Oh. You okay? Not really. I take it you've spoken to Vicky? Yeah. And? She wanted to look into it. I said no. And that'll be the end of it, will it? You know, I wasn't much older than her when my father went missing. I pictured all sorts. I can imagine. The day they found his body was the worst day of my life. But in a way it was a relief. Because I could finally stop wondering. And now you come up with some stupid, ridiculous theory and it all comes flooding back to me. If I'd have known it was going to get to you like He this, was I... my dad, Dennis. What did you expect? I loved him. I lost him and I grieved for him a long time ago. And you're the only one affected by this, are you? What do you think you're doing? He doesn't care about us. He can't, darling. He's dead. You keep saying that. Nicky, whoever's making out that he's still alive has got it wrong. 
Dad loved you, and he loved me. He'd never have abandoned us, I promise you. You can't know that. Yes, I can. And you could too if you'd known him like I did. What if you're wrong? Vicky, I grew up with him. I know exactly how he operated, and trust me, this wasn't his style. I can't expect you to understand. You're only three years old. So... You never knew him. Look, let's just put this behind us, eh? Yeah. Right, well, I'm gonna make a cup of tea before I go back to work. Would you like something? No. No, I'm okay. I'm gonna go for a walk. Clear my head. Okay. Dennis? Dennis, are you home? In the shower. Okay. What did you say to Vicky earlier? I told her the truth. Oh, so how come I caught her burning photos of Dad this afternoon? She's a volatile kid. Well, you must have said something to really upset her. Well, that's my speciality, isn't it? Upsetting people. Look, the last thing I wanted was for this ridiculous business to affect the way she feels about her own father. She'll get over it. She already has. I put her straight. So what sort of fuss about? I just don't want you stirring things up anymore, Dennis. Vicky's accepted the fact that her father's dead and I want that to be the end of it. This whole subject is history, understood? Dennis? Dennis, have you seen Vicky? Do I look as though I have? Well, she's gone. What? She's not here. Her bed's not been slept in. She's gone. <clears throat> you seen Vicky? No, not today. Why? Because I can't find her. Well, I haven't seen her. What? Ain't you bothered? I thought you two were mates. Well, why? What's happened? Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't be asking you, would I? Look, it's the only place she likes to go. Well, what sort of place? Somewhere private, you know, where she can think about things. Only the playground. Then is she alright? Probably. If you're here for me, you let me know, alright? Uh, Billy, can we deal with this later, please? Yeah. Well? Well, you must have said something to set her off. Give me some credit, will you? I never told her half the stuff I know. What's that supposed to mean? There was an address. What? I didn't pass it on. But it was written down. You never mentioned an address. Is it for... Yeah. Where did you keep it? In my notebook, back at the flat. Then you better go and check it, Dennis, hadn't you? Is it lying around? Yes, all right. It's irresponsible, Dennis. And an open invitation when you know the state Vic is in. It's here, OK? So's the address. Oh, thank God for that. So she didn't know anything? No. No, it's like you said, she's just getting her head around a few things. Vicky ran off in the first place. Well, you know, she was upset. Well, that's obvious, but why? Feeling unwanted, I suppose. By you? Well, that's hardly fair, Shadow. No, not by me. Dad. She got it into her head that you didn't love her. Oh, I see. Well, that explains it. It's silly, really, Doc. She never even knew him. But that's not the point. It's the blood tie. She's linked to him. She can't help herself. Same as Dennis. I see. Where does that leave me? 
Oh, I don't mean that you don't care, Sharon, but it's different, isn't it? Is it? How? Well, it's in their blood. But he held me, Dot. He was real to me. Well, look, if you hear anything, you let me know, yeah? Something wrong? I just had a phone call from Vicky. What did she say? Not much. She's fine. She's not in any bother. She just wants to be on her own for a little while. Well, where is she? She didn't say. Well, couldn't you tell? I mean, was she in a house well, or...? Well, there were, there were cars going by, I think. She says it's not because of you. She says she loves you and not to worry. What did she say if she was coming back? She rang off before I could ask her. Sorry. Thanks, Spencer. That's all right. She'll be all right, Sharon. You know, I reckon she's been thinking about her dad. Well, because the other day we were talking about our dads and well, sometimes it gets to you and you need to be on your own to think. Yeah. Dennis, we've heard from Vicky. She's been in touch with Spencer. Yeah, 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 she's okay. Well, you were right, she's obviously got a lot on her mind. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see you later. I guess we don't need to call Michelle then. Probably not. I'll have a word with Spencer. If Vicky calls again, we can leave her a message. Come home, all is forgiven. Okay, what's the matter? Nothing. Could possibly be the matter with me. Well, something's changed. I'm not like you two. I don't get hurt. You're hurt now. What is it? It's just something someone said about why Vicky gets upset over a father she doesn't even know. It's because you and Vicky, you're his kids, I'm not. That's rubbish, and you know it. Do I? Well, maybe it's true. Maybe there is something missing in me. Something I can never have. Me. Just drink it. No one cared about him more than you, you know that, don't you? But with Vicky, it's like there's something driving her. And it's the same for you, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. But not for me. No, it's different for you. But because you knew him. No other reason. You know what I think? If you didn't care, then why do you keep staring at this? And why does it scare you so much? It's on in the Vic sometimes. Did he? Look, you shouldn't doubt yourself. You know you loved him. And you don't have to be scared because that's never going to change. No, you're right. I can face it. So tell me, Dennis, about Dad. Tell me what happened. You know when I start asking you a lot of questions about Dan? Yeah. Well, that's when all this kicked off. That's when I started digging around. But why? Why now? Who told you he was alive in the first place? I heard. If that's how you're going to start. It was Jack. Dalton. When? Before he died. Well, it wasn't going to be after, was it? What 
did he know about it? It was him that put the marker on Den. Him? Why would he tell you Dad was alive? He was in trouble. He needed my help. He was lying to you, Dennis? No. I looked him in the eye. He was telling the truth, all right. After he died, that's when I started piecing things together. How would you even know where to start? I know people. People? People who track others down? Yeah. Rubbish. Do you want to hear this or not? My dad was shot. He fell in the canal. He was murdered. There was a witness, evidence. So come on then, Dennis. You prove me wrong. Let's hear it. A geezer called Vinnicum runs to hit for Dalton. Then gets shot, goes in the water. Everyone's happy. Vinnicum gets a pat on the back. But according to you, Dad got out. Yeah. How? Any way he could. If the bullet didn't kill him, he wasn't going to give him the satisfaction of staying in there and drowning now, was he? Okay, then he got out. With a bullet hole in him, he'd have to go to hospital. Yeah, right. On the run, form like that gunshot wound, knowing who's behind it. He turns up at the hospital, the filth will be on him in a second. Come on, Sharon. Okay, so who'd he go to then? Where? Someone. Someone? And this someone does what? Give him a plaster and an aspirin. He was shot. He'd have needed a doctor. You can find doctors other places than hospitals. They dragged the canal. They found his body. And what did they find the first time they dragged it? Nothing. No, not nothing. His court papers, his, his prison number. No body. Because they were looking in the wrong place. They didn't find anything because there was nothing to find. Because he just got out and went to this someone. Everything you're thinking, I've already thought. Oh, I bet you haven't. So who was it then, eh? Who was it they found if it wasn't my dad? Vinicum. Oh, shut up. The canal gets dragged. There's no body. Vinicum's screwed up. He gets off, dumped where he should have dumped Den. Keeps everyone on their toes. Reminds them never to make a mug out of Jack. And now, there's a body in the canal. Saves his face. Don't shut up, Dennis. It was my dad they found. I was there watching. Did you ID him? They wouldn't let me see him. They said it wasn't fit for me to see him. He was too long in the water. But they proved it. What did they prove? Height, weight, sex. The rest is circumstantial. The police put two and two together. They wrap it up nice and neat. The plot don't want something like this hanging over them forever. No, you're they? the one putting two and two together and coming up with five. You're just guessing at all of I'm this. I'm not. I got hold of the inquest. I ain't stupid. There was no real evidence, not even dental records. They couldn't. His face had been smashed up too badly. And how do you suppose that happened? What, somebody jumped in the canal and went at him with a brick? No. No, it was a, a barge or a boat or something. It's what they used to do when they didn't want a body to be identified. They'd smash his head in and make sure there's no teeth for an ID. I can't help knowing what I know. So who told you all this, eh? I mean, yeah, you dug around, but who told you? Someone. What someone? Who? I can't say. But his papers, his solicitor's letter, what were they doing in the water if he just got out? No, maybe they fell out. Oh, please. Or maybe he dumped them there by himself some time. You'd have to ask him. I can't. He's dead. Well, go on. If it makes you feel better, just hit me. Go on. And what about that, eh? Some kid got that out of the canal in his fishing net. Dad was wearing it, so how did it get there? Someone put it there. It's not just me that knows he's dead. It's everyone. No, not everyone. Everyone I know. And people don't just disappear, Dennis. Yes, they do. They disappear all the time. And they don't disappear with a bullet hole in them. Not without help. He had help. Oh, yes, yeah, someone. That's right. No. Sharon. No. So where did he get the money for everything? The money for disappearing? I mean, it must all cost, so who did all that? Which man would be big enough, 
powerful enough to take on Jack Dalton, risk going against him. I mean, Dad was in trouble with the firm, but he was never a player, not on that scale. He wouldn't know the face who'd do all that for him. So who was it? Who did all that for him and told you about it? And don't say someone. It's all I can say. Why? Because I gave my word. <laughs> Your word? You're telling me my dad's not dead and you're worried about going back on your word? He isn't dead. Then where the hell is he? Spain. No, he's not. If he was alive, he'd be here with me. He is alive and he's in Spain. He's been seen. Who by? People? Yeah. And I went out there, I found the place. When? When did you do all this? It was when I was away with Vicky, wasn't it? You could look me in the face, pretend everything was normal, and all the time you were worried about getting me out of the way because you wanted to do this. I couldn't say anything until I was sure. Did you see him? In the flesh, did you actually see him? No. Why not? Because I couldn't go in. I stared at the door for ages. I couldn't even knock on it. Well, you should have done. Put pay to this straight away because he wouldn't have been there. Because I had a funeral for him. It's just lies, Dennis. What have you got to go on, eh? Someone and Dalton. And Dalton's dead, that's convenient. Not for him. I don't get it. Why would he tell you that, thinking that would make you help him? Did he know Dad was your dad? But he knew I was with you. What? That you're my brother? I'm not. You're not with me. Then why are you backing away from me? If I'm just your brother, why are you backing off from me? I'm tired. I've had enough. None of this adds up to anything, Dennis, not a thing. People, someone. Dalton was lying to you, he was just trying to screw your head up. My dad is dead. If he wasn't, I'd be the first person to know. You've been dead, Dennis. And I feel sorry for you. I didn't think you were that gullible. I'm not. Well, do yourself a favour and forget about it. I'm going to. Did you get any sleep? What do you think? I'm just glad Vicky wasn't here to hear it. She might believe it. And you don't? Not a word. What don't you believe? Any of it. You've got no proof. I've got proof. And what's your proof? I knew him. You didn't. I knew him better than anyone and he would not do this. I thought we'd concluded our business, Dennis. Men called Dennis turning up on my doorstep with injuries? I feel almost nostalgic. Sit down. I told her. Well, I didn't think you'd just drop by on the off chance. She don't believe me. I nearly told her myself. After Angie's funeral, when I gave her the painting, she looked so alone, so desolate. Poor little girl. She ain't a little girl. Oh, she is, Dennis. She thought she was an orphan. I could have cursed him. In fact, I have, frequently. So why didn't you tell her back then if you felt so sorry for her? Because I made him a promise. What is it about this bloke that makes people promise him things, give him money to just disappear? Well, if... No. When you meet him, you'll know why I did it. 
I'm not interested. I don't want to know. I ain't doing this for me, I'm doing this for her. Sharon. I want to bring her around here so you can tell her. You already broke that promise to him when you told me. Oh, I didn't tell you anything. You came with all the information. I just filled in the blanks. But you'll tell her. <sighs> Where would I start? How about the beginning? Start there. You're going to bring her anyway, aren't you? I prefer to do it with your say-so. I'm not worth much, but when I give my word, I like to keep it. All right. I'll tell her. That you're the someone who helped him. You did it all. Yes, that I'm the... How was it one of your friends so charmingly referred to me? The posh girl. I'll probably avoid that phrase, but... Yes. I'll tell her. Everything. I'll bring her then. She'll believe it coming from you. But after that, no more. My name does not get mentioned. You don't come here again. Dennis. When she does believe it, be prepared for the fall, lad. This is everything. This is her whole life. She'll be all right with me. I'll look after her. I'm glad she's not alone. I'm glad she's found you, her brother. I ain't her brother. Who are you then? I'll see you later. what you wanted? Is this what you wanted to see in me? Why? Why would you want to do this? I haven't done anything wrong. Yes, you have. My dad loved me. I was precious to him. And he would never have left me alone. If he was alive, there is nothing in this world that would have kept him from me. Nothing. And it can't be true. Because if it is, it means he didn't love me and, and my whole life has been a lie. And I won't. I, I can't believe it until that someone who told you tells me. So you take me to them. You put me in the same room as that person so I can watch the words coming out of their mouth when they tell me that my dad had stayed away for all these years and left me on my own when he could have been with me. And that he never loved me. Can you do that? No, I can't. Is there a someone? How would I know? It's just rumours. Some old face telling another old face. But you believe them. Probably because I wanted to, yeah. Has my whole life been a lie? No. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Because you wanted it to be true and it isn't. Because I'd know. I knew him better than anybody and I'd know. You see, he loved me so much, my dad. D didn't he? He loved you. <laughs> Thank you.
not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let you shut me out. I know, I'm sorry. I've got something for you. What? Hello, princess. <laughs>